Hi, good morning. My name is Michael. I'm the owner and director of Forbit Architecture. I would like to talk about why work with an architect. I actually get this question asked a lot, why work with an architect? Um, from my point of view, an architect is, is like your trusted advisor. You are about to buy an apartment or a house um, or have an idea of uh, how to change your existing one and an architect is really the ideal person to talk to to um, discuss the ideas. It's really a very, very long and pleasant discussion which, you're, which you will be having with an architect who can not only advise you on the practicalities of such changes, of course on the costs, and more often than not on the, the feasibility of them. So, so let's say you start with having seen a couple of magazines or you collected some pictures on house or Pinterest um, and you, you come to a point when you, you're not really sure where to start, you have all of these ideas, but you need somebody to talk to, to distill these ideas and to pick the ones that are actually possible, partially within your budget, but also possible to actually change within the property. And lastly, I think, uh, practical to, to achieve. You have this initial discussion with an architect and um, we talk about uh, how you use the, the house, um, what you've always missed, nice to haves, uh, what your ideas were, these are the pictures you found. And really, um, I think from my point of view, we don't need much more than that. I mean, some clients come to us with a very detailed um, list and, and spreadsheets and PowerPoint presentations of room by room changes, including colors and finishes that they would like to have. I think that's the exception rather than the rule. I very much like the idea of being given some hints about what you're trying to achieve and then let us propose the rest. And we will start with layout options, which are very important, and then move on to showing them to you in 3D just to make sure that there's no issues with communication. Some people can read flat 2D plans very easily, but I think it's only really they, that they come to life when you do it in 3D. And uh, also what I really, really like doing is, let's say we start with a first meeting and we have two or three layout options. Inevitably during the discussion, there is some pros and cons to each of the options. And one of us comes up with a fourth option or a fifth option. And as much as it might, you know, you might think, oh my gosh, it's yet another option. You know, we need to spend more time on the design. Think about it this way. The, the more of the initial ideas, the more of the, even the crazy ideas you have during the initial discussion, you can actually test by drawing them and test by visualizing them the more you've eliminated the possibilities and uh, at least you've proven whether an idea you had works or it doesn't work. Because during the first stage, before, let's say, we would submit something for planning permission, it is very important from our point of view to test every conceivable idea you might have, just so that once we've chosen an option and we go for planning, then we have one option which has been tried and tested we don't look back or very rarely look back and then we just go for it and we 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 can rush through the tender stage do the detailed drawings and eventually get to construction so really going back to the initial question of uh, why to work with an architect i think because an architect is trained in all disciplines which together help to design and build a property this person is uniquely placed to be a guide for you to advise you on every step on the way, talk to you about the practicalities of, of various designs, talk to you about the budget implications, um, talk to you about where to get the suppliers from, how much to pay, when, to, when you have to make certain decisions and when these decisions could wait. So it really is a, is a guide, um, simplistically speaking, for you throughout the whole process. So it's important from, from my experience to have an architect to be on the design from the start to finish because 
when we talk about the initial options, it's important to remind ourselves in the background that they still need to get a planning permission. So they have to be reasonable within the context of the site and the requirements from the council. And any changes inside we're, we're doing have to obviously comply to current building regulations. So without mentioning them, maybe specifically throughout the initial options and stages and sketches, please rest assured that the architect is thinking about them. So we would never really table anything to you which can't, uh, can't actually be built or is illegal to be built or um, you would have difficulties getting a final sign of or a planning permission. So this kind of stays in the background usually. Uh, we, we can obviously talk about this in more detail, but the, the whole point of it is that what you actually get shown from an architect, you can be sure that unless he or she mentioned something specifically, is, it is possible to get uh, planning permission for it. And of course, it's absolutely legal when it's being built that it complies with building regulations. Um, and this again, this kind of um, 360 approach, so to speak, you don't really get from any other professional. So you can get a very good um, interior design advice from an interior designer, which is great. You can get um, a high class service from most builders, but again, they would have only a limited knowledge on the building regulations itself. But most importantly, they probably just know from hearsay about planning rules. So, you know, you don't get planning advice from somebody who doesn't have to use it every day. And, um, and therefore, really, if you, if you start the process with an architect and you retain them throughout the design phases, through various permission stages, through construction, site supervision, right up till the very end, you can, you can make sure that A, you just talk to one person, which is just so much simpler. You don't have to remember, oh, did I tell this person about this? No, you just talk to one person and that person will delegate as a project manager. Then you can also be assured that all your ideas are not getting lost. So the first phase when you, when you talk about uh, a project is very, very exciting because everything is still possible. Everything is still up in the air. And uh, sometimes there are these really striking examples you see somewhere online which you would like to implement then as we go through the design phases some of these initial ideas might get slightly diluted because of cost constraints because um, the picture you've seen and you liked is on a much much bigger property for example but if you are talking to an architect he can make sure that the essence of that original idea is carried through all the way through the permission stages through the tender stage so somebody's actually putting, putting a realistic price against that and also if any of these drawings are at risk of changing during construction because of various coordination issues or constraints or any other things that might happen if you have the same architect on board he or she can make sure that the initial essence of that idea isn't lost so at the end of the day you might get something which has has had to be changed a little bit but at least you get w what you've started with and that's i think just very valuable i hope you like to listen to this video as much as i enjoyed making it um, if you like to see more please click subscribe so you'll be notified of all upcoming videos if you have any question or comment or a critical comment to anything i've said or maybe i missed something or you would like to request a video about any topics that i've only briefly talked about please leave a comment below I'll make sure to respond to it and to read it and see you next time.